everyone, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I am going to be attempting to make a homemade KFC. Now you may have seen one of my previous videos where I actually attempted to make my own McDonald's and let's just say it blew up a little bit on social media, Lad Bible picked it up and posted it everywhere and then it suddenly got millions of views. I didn't really think people were going to love it as much as they did, I more did it because I love McDonald's and I just craved it so bad and then all the comments were filled with please do KFC, please do Nando's, please do Wagamama's and I was like okay this is this is an idea for a series. I thought I'd start a series on my channel called Fakeaways. So whilst we are stuck inside, I'm gonna show you guys how to make all of your favorite takeaway foods and restaurant foods from your kitchen. Today, like I said, we are gonna be doing KFC and I found a recipe for the original recipe chicken. And then I'm also gonna make the gravy as well because gravy is just like, it could work, it might not work. I'm literally going to follow the recipe that I found online and put it to the test. So I hope you guys enjoy. If you do, please smash a huge thumbs up. And other than that, let's get started. First thing I need to do is actually ring my mum because I just realised I forgot to buy corn on the cob and I feel like I need corn on the cob with my KFC. So... Oh, okay, like that then. We're gonna start off by making the seasoning for the chicken. So I've got all the different things here. There is actually a lot of items going in this. I genuinely didn't think there was gonna be this much. I need to mix together all the spices, the flour, the brown sugar, and the salt. Oh, also I just have to put out there, how cute is this box that I made? I actually have some of the Happy Meal boxes left from when I did the McDonald's video. I just printed off a little KFC logo and I am gonna pop it in here. Because we're gonna make the original recipe chicken, but I'm also gonna make it in a burger as well so i have got the chicken breast but i've also got the chicken thighs just so we can change it up a little bit first of all, we're going to go in with our flour now some of these are american measurements again i will leave the actual recipe down below but i'm low-key going to try and guesstimate it i've never actually done this before like seasoned my own chicken so i'm actually quite excited about this flour is in and now we need to add some brown sugar it smells really really nice i love the smell of brown sugar brown sugar is in i also need to add some salt let's put the salt in there got it so the first one is paprika and we need a tablespoon of paprika oh my gosh this is a lot actually i think i actually might be easier pouring it in like that because that is going to take forever else then we need onion salt. Where is my onion salt? And we need two teaspoons of this. That's coming out a little bit easier. So let's put that in here. Next up, we need chili powder. Oh gosh, I bought hot chili powder. So here we go. We're going to make hot wings now. And it says I need one teaspoon of this, but I don't actually want it to be super hot. Half a teaspoon of celery salt. Here is the celery salt. Let's pour this in and measure this out. I actually know that celery salt is a like hidden ingredient in a lot of things like KFC and McDonald's. I just always hear people like, what is it that celery is in? Is it Big Mac sauce? No, it's not Big Mac sauce. Celery is in something. And I was like, oh my God, but like I hate celery, but I love this. I don't know, I just thought I'd chill out there. Garlic powder, we need half a teaspoon of garlic powder. Put that in there. Next up, we are going for half a teaspoon of oregano. This is starting to smell really nice. I really feel like I should season my chicken more often. And then we've got half a teaspoon of basil. And then I also need to put in some black pepper. But that's not on there, so where did I read that? Maybe that's for the gravy. Okay, here is the mixture. Let's give it all a mix. And then I need to start coating my chicken with the egg whites. I feel like there's a lot of flour in here for the amount of spice I've put in. Okay, perfect. So here is our mixture to coat our chicken in. I now need to just quickly tidy all of this up and then we can start to coat the chicken. That is all done. I have put the seasoning in this little tray here so I can roll the chicken around. Now my next task is to separate eggs. I'm gonna be honest, I have never done this before either. Part of being inside is I'm trying to learn to cook and it is slightly embarrassing because I'm quite far behind a lot of people my age, but I'm gonna try and separate the egg oh my god please don't judge me i know it is horrible to watch but i really am going to try my best i just read 
to crack the egg on its side like this and then just to keep moving back and forth oh my gosh did it first time i know it seems so simple but i was just really worried that i wasn't going to be able to do it and again just going to pour it back and forth don't come at me i'm feeling like cooking mama oh my god how much did everyone love cooking mama what a game i need that they need to bring that out for the nintendo switch and then give it a little bit of a mix. Here we go. I am going to take the chicken. And then I'm just going to coat it lightly. That wasn't light again. I ended up dropping the whole thing in. And then I'm just going to put it in the flour mixture. And just completely coat it like this. We can then pop it in the frying pan where I'm going to fry it. And then again, we'll pop that in the frying pan. I'm now going to do the exact same with the chicken thighs. Those bits are actually going to be used for the Zinger burger that I'm going to recreate. And then these here are the pieces that I'm going to use for the original rest of the chicken. Even though it's technically all the same, but trying to tell myself it's different i'm getting so into this okay so coat it with the white flour mixture perfect and then i can pop this one in the pan as well just tell me if you think i'm ever getting really bad at beauty and fashion or just eating stuff for 24 hours because i can definitely become a cooking channel if you guys really want that here is the chicken i'm gonna leave this to sit for five minutes just so the crumbs can dry a little bit then we've got to fry it for five minutes and then i've got to put it in the oven for 25 minutes i'm literally just reading off the packet instructions now update we have just started to cook and midway i thought you know what i'm gonna make a tiktok so i am in fact making a tiktok of me making this kfc if you do want to follow my tiktok i will leave it on screen i'm low-key addicted that's what isolation does to you the chicken is all coated it is now about to go into the oven for 25 minutes and whilst this is cooking in the oven we can actually make the gravy because i just read the recipe and it is a little bit more complicated than i originally thought it does kind of smell like it too and also kind of looks like it it's time to give the gravy a go whilst the chicken is in the oven so it says that i need to dilute the beef and chicken cubes in water and put butter in it and let the butter melt on low heat so we're going to do that first this great oh that's the wrong one my butter is now in the pan melting just for reference i have used tesco's unsalted butter just in case you wanted to know and then i'm going to dilute my beef and my chicken cubes while that is going fast let's turn that down next up we have got our chicken oxo cube and i'm going to use one chicken one and i am going to use one beef one and i've got to let these two dilate in the water not dilate dilute uh not having a baby now it's time to add the flour into this butter mix now it says i need to stir it for seven to eight minutes and i've just realized i haven't even tried the chicken five tablespoons of all-purpose flour but i'm kind of like halving the recipe a little bit one two three right now i've got to continuously stir this so it doesn't stick to the pan whoa it's gone hard <laughs> that's what she said Wait, what? So how am I meant to continuously stir it? If I miss something, okay, well, this is the strangest thing I have ever done in my life. This is the mixture I'm currently dealing with, and then I've got the chicken and beef stock cubes in there. <laughs> Woo! This is an extremely thick gravy. Maybe the more I mix it, the more it's gonna become like it. Like, maybe I have actually cracked the recipe for KFC gravy, who knows? Oh gosh, I'm just watching the TikTok back. Did it work? Because I only got one shot of that. That was kind of sick, actually. This is just behind the scenes of the TikTok, guys. Sorry. Wow, that is good. That's really good. Don't get me wrong, this gravy is extremely thick and I might add a little bit more water. Definitely got the whole KFC vibe to it. Like, I can definitely smell the scent. We are getting close to getting chicken out of the oven. So, I am going to get the rolls ready. I am actually going to make two of the Zinger burgers. I have a really good feeling about this and I feel like it's going to be a really good burger. I just really am smashing this. The gravy smells exactly like it. The chicken smells exactly like it. When I just opened the oven, the KFC leaves were a bit bigger, whereas like the McDonald's one was obviously shredded, which we already had that big ordeal in at my last McDonald's video. Before I get the chicken out, here is my station. I've got a little pot for my gravy. I've got my box. The gravy is simmering in there and it's turned out amazingly. And it is time to get the chicken out. Oh my God, it literally smells. Obviously I'm following a recipe and stuff, so 
so I know it must work, but every time I just complete it, I still can't believe I've actually done it. Here we go, moment of truth. That is cooked to perfection. Let's put that little bit of chicken there, here. Again, I'm not actually sure which way they're meant to go, like where the lettuce is meant to go, where the mayonnaise is meant to go, so I am completely guessing this. If you work at KFC, I'm so sorry. Lettuce is on, I'm gonna add the cheese, and I'll what's just happened to my cheese and then some mayonnaise to finish off the burger we are one item down here is our completed zinger burger let's not forget our homemade gravy at the back here this is quite possibly the thickest gravy i've ever ever had and there we go we now have a pot of our homemade gravy and here is my complete kfc we've got the gravy and in her little box we have got the chips we have got the all recipe chicken and we have got a zinger burger now i don't know about you but i think it's time to give it a try before we do a taste test here is a closer look at the finished meal now i don't know about you but i think this i think this is past the test like i think this actually does look like a kfc it is time let's do this i think i'm first of all gonna try a chip in the gravy hmm yeah, I can see the resemblance. It's a little bit buttery. I think I may have added a little bit too much butter. But if that didn't have the butter in, I think we'd be on to like a pretty much a similar KFC gravy. Okay, I'm going to give that like a 7 out of 10. It was a little bit buttery, but then that was basically my fault. The original recipe chicken. Now, every time I go to KFC, I always tear like the skin off and I try it. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. That's it. Oh my god, that is it. I've added a little bit too much of something. But as a whole, yeah, I can't tell. I think I may have made a mistake by adding more onion salt. I don't think I should have done that. Other than that, I'm very shocked. I'm going to give this burger a go. Tastes like a single burger. I'm quite shocked at myself. I'm getting better at cooking. This is definitely a step up from all the packet mixes that I used to use. I am very proud of myself right now. I have created my very own KFC. You know what? They can stay shut for a while. I'll carry on making my own. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you guys have enjoyed this video. I am very pleasantly surprised by how amazing this turned out. As soon as mummy's home with my sweet corn, that is pretty much going to be my perfect KFC order. I love you all so much. Let me know what ones you want to see next. I was thinking maybe Nando's or Wagamama's, but if you have any other ideas let me know down below and other than that i will see you very soon for a brand new video Mwah. bye can't believe i've done it literally can't believe i've done it i'm impressed <laughs>